Today we're bringing back the 90s with your sister sister question. So take out those ripped jeans, some plaid, and your favorite hat. Wait, aren't those all back in style again? Seeing sister sister on again, it brings back so many memories. I love hearing from you guys who were fans then and from a whole new generation watching for the first time. It seems like a lot of you guys are watching with your kids. So let me know in the comments below. Your questions take me right back to all of the amazing moments I got to share with my sister Tia and the whole sister sister cast. Let's get this Q&A started. Priceless Ambition 7 asks, how did you guys get on the show in the first place? All right, so fun fact, my sister and I got on the show in the first place because of my brother actually. Um, my brother was doing this show called Out All Night with Patti LaBelle and Morris Chestnut and Vivica Fox. We used to always visit that set. The executive producer on that show recognized that my brother had other siblings and she loved that we were twins, met with us and said, you girls need to be on TV. We basically, thought of a really cool idea. My sister and I loved Sweet Valley High and we loved Parent Trap. So we wanted to do something like that. We met with an amazing writer named Kim Bass. He's the one who actually created the show that you guys watched over 20 years ago. Ooh, I can't believe I'm saying that. And the newer generation, the show that you're watching right now. Once we got the script, we then went to different networks. At that time, there was only like ABC, CBS, Fox, and let's see, ABC, NBC. And we went to each of those networks to present the idea for Sister Sister and funny story, every single network pretty much turned it down and my sister and I were like, oh no, I guess this is it. <laughs> Except for ABC. What was funny is, is my sister and I, we'd never, we did, you know, some things before, commercials, did some guest spots on some television shows, like Dangerous Women back in the day, Full House, some commercials, but we never had a regular role on a sitcom. So ABC was definitely making or taking a risk with my sister and I. We did a, pilot first, which was more like a presentation. And when I saw it, I was like, oh God. I was really surprised it even got picked up. Nothing but God. Uh, we definitely needed some acting uh, classes. Teeny Genie asks, did you and your sister get to choose whether you wanted to portray the studious responsible twin or the carefree party twin, or were those roles assigned to you? We actually did get to choose. Dana, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We actually did get to choose. If my memory is correct, it was so, it was so long ago. I don't. Oh lord! I hope my memory is okay. Back in the day, Tia was actually the more studious one, I think, and I was definitely the the. I would say like maybe not mischievous. I wasn't as mischievous as Tamara Campbell was. I did become mischievous as uh, I got older, like once I turned. 23. I definitely was boy crazy at a very young age and uh, I can see it happening in my daughter right now and I'm like oh god she's only five um but I turned out okay so whoop, whoop. I just wanted to first say I watched Sister Sister on Netflix for the first time hi Lauren Milburn Julie G288 asked were you and Tia like the characters you played on the show or not really how are you alike and different from your characters I feel like we have a bit of, like now, a bit of both of the characters within us. I think at that time, Tia was definitely the studious one and I was a little bit more of the mischievous one, meaning I was boy crazy, I had a lot more energy. Um, but as we got older, I feel like the roles kind of would switch. It was interesting, like every five years we'd like switch. I would be the studious one, Tia would be the, the more, uh, outgoing one then Tia would be the studious one or did I just say that or I would be miss yeah oh hell I forgot what I said I feel like right now I think we embody both of the characters like we both know when to be really studious and when to be you know very focused and, and work related and when to kind of let go and, and just kind of have fun contrary to some people's belief 
when I was on the reel, I was very like, doo, 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 doo. no, that's not, that's not, that, that is not me. And I remember, you know, people, you know, you know my, my family members, they would be like, why do people think you're, you're so like uptight? I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually not. And as the girls got to know throughout the years, I'm a good time. I, I have fun. Uh, okay. So I noticed there's some theme questions for many of you about romance on the show. Courtney, I see what you did there. Uh, she asked, did you ever have a crush on one of the guest stars? Um, yeah. Brandon Adams. I had the biggest crush on Brandon Adams. Jason Weaver, I had the biggest crush on. Oh, uh, Dion Richmond, the guy who, who played my boyfriend on the show. I think I had like a little crush. I think that's the reason why our chemistry was so great. Uh, there you go, inside. Gave you all the exclusive. Let's keep the romance theme going. Do you wish Lisa and Ray end up together? Yes! I like want a reboot just so we can see that maybe they got together. I wanted them to get together. That would have been perfect. Or maybe it was just so like on the nose if they did or cliche. I don't know why they never did, but I think they would have made a great couple. Coco's Pug Life says, why did you never kiss your boyfriends in the show? The fact that you even recognize that, that is so true. Because back in the day, we were prude. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it like it is. We were so prude. I didn't want to. I just, I did not want to. I was like, this, I don't even know the person. I don't, we don't wanna, I, that was my reasoning. I can't speak for Tia, but I know I was prude. Let's just say that. So, so many of you asked this question. What was your favorite episode and why? I had so many. We did over 100 episodes, but my favorite episode that I can remember was when I crashed the car. Uh, I think that was either the second or third episode of the first season. I don't know. I think it was because I was learning to drive at that time. I thought I was something. And uh, it was just so much fun. I really got to play into my mischievous, you know, character. Um, and the other one was when Brittany Murphy actually was in the episode and we were smoking cigarettes. I just loved, loved, loved the message in, in the episode about peer pressure and about doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing, but we kind of explained why, you know, the characters felt the need to try something that they knew they shouldn't have been doing. Um, so those two are my favorite episodes and the cigarettes that we were, w that we were, um, using, I think I thought I was like a really cool actress because I got to pretend I was smoking and it was just like this, this little contraption that obviously wasn't a real cigarette, but I thought I was something doing this. Fun fact. I don't know how much fun this is, but I did smoke at one point in my life. I was a social smoker. I do, a lot of people can't believe that. I told you, I was a little mischievous. Um, I was a social smoker. I don't know who I thought I was, but like whenever I would drink or go out with my friends, that's when I would do it. And I quit on my own. I was like, this doesn't make me feel good. It makes, it makes my breath stink. And uh, I don't feel healthy. My chest was always like, <gasps> so you will never see me pick up a cigarette. Ever again. All right, Tanya Michelle Brown asked, was it hard to memorize lines? No, when, you, when, we, when you're that young, your memory's like that. Now I am like, Jesus Lord, help me. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord. But when you're doing a sitcom, you practice it every day. So it's like repetition. It's, it's, it's kind of like listening to your favorite song for four days in a row. Eventually you'll like, you'll naturally get it. La La Love 2012 said, do you still quote the show? If so, what's your favorite? My favorite quote, the answer is yes, is when T and Tamara went to a concert uh, to see Cold Dog. And actually I've seen Flex years after and we still say the same thing. It's you walk at that dough, don't come back no more. That is my 
favorite line of all Sister Sister other than that girl has my face. Uh, I love uh, uh, twin, uh, twin booty is a thing of beauty. Write that down, somebody. Those are my favorite lines. Once again, you walk out that door, don't come back no more. And then Tamara Campbell says, it's door, you moron. Oh, wait, there's more. I'm thinking of more. Go home, Roger. That one everyone wants us to repeat. Go home, Roger. Passion Believer 29 says, could you please, oh, Tamara, say all righty again? The, okay, I have to say, the fact that you guys still like me saying that is hysterical to me. So, Ace Ventura was one of my favorite movies back in the day, and Jim Carrey was one of my favorites. You're a true Jim Carrey fan if you watched him in In Live the Color. You can do what you wanna do in Live in Color. In Live in Color. Anyways. I just dated myself. Well, he was on there and I was a huge fan when uh, he was Fire Marshal Bill and he would say, Edna Penedna. <laughs> I used to always imitate him. So I used to always imitate Jim Carrey around the house when Ace Ventura came out. So of course, I'll do it for you. All righty then. <laughs> oh my God. Ophelia GMZ, can you just say, oh man again? Oh my God, I die every time. I'm in the, I'm in the part when you're dating Jordan. Oh man, I still say that. Janthiana one, did you guys have any embarrassing moments in an episode and if yes, what episode? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Yes, I had an embarrassing moment. I was 15, 16, this is kind of like a lady thing. We were shooting in front of a live studio audience. I had this gorgeous skirt on, I thought it was really cute. Um, and I had just got my menstrual. Yep. I remember sitting down on this like chest that we had in our uh, bedroom and it's first season and I sat down, got back up and there was, you know what? No one knew about it except for Tia. And we kind of like, oh, this is so embarrassing. But I feel like every girl kind of has, has this moment you kind of like, I froze because the studio audience was there, the cameramen were there, and I was 16 and you're just like embarrassed. <sighs> so I remember kind of just dragging my skirt along the chest oh, to kind of like clean it up. And I finished the scene. And of course I told, you know, our, our wardrobe stylist, uh, Cece at the time, what had happened and she was so understanding obviously she's a woman and so yeah that was really embarrassing camille marie says was your high school experience anything like what you two went through on the show no because ironically we didn't really go to high school like fully we were tutored on set we would have to go to school uh on set in this trailer our teacher's name was Glenn Woodmansey. I absolutely loved him. We had to do three hours a day, and a lot of people, well, a lot of the kids, once they found out that we only had to do three hours of school, they were like, lucky. And we're like, no, we basically had to do all the work that all the other kids who were actually in high school within three hours. So it was a lot of work. You had to do that, and then we still had a job. We had like an adult job doing, doing a show and being the lead on being the leads on that show. So it was it was a lot of work. We There was a lot of uh, balance, but it really taught us the balance of, of, of work and doing other things at such a young age while you're doing it all at the same time. I hope that makes sense. LES says, did you get to pick your styles of clothing for the show? All the outfits are so fun. We actually were like top 10 best dressed um, kid stars during that show and it was because of Cece. She was fantastic and yes, we got to say yay or nay. I loved it. I would get so excited for our fittings every single week and it was that way all the way up to the end. I actually have one skirt and one um, robe that I wore on Sister Sister and it's a Theory skirt. What's so great about the brand Theory is that most of their pieces are classic and I can still wear that. Well, I can wear it now. 
thank God, and uh, the robe. It, it was uh, the pink robe with um, stars on it. Stargirl24k asked, what was a typical day on set? Fun. That was the most fun I've ever had. So much fun with a cast. Just, it was such a blessing. Uh, we wanted to make sure, and we've even had some people who were guest stars on the show, we wanted to make sure that everyone's experience on that show was fun. And uh, I think we did it. Um, but you start with a table read, then you would practice it on its feet, kind of like read through the scene with your script. That was kind of like one of my favorites. Then you would do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you would block and tape, which is basically you're blocking the scene, the cameraman will come in. And throughout Monday, through Wednesday, you would have the producers come in, the writers come in, and you would do a run through for them. Then Thursday you would block and kind of record so people can kind of get an idea, the producers can kind of get an idea of how the show is gonna run, if they need to change anything. Um, and then Friday we would shoot live in front of a, a studio audience. Um, you're dressed up, Dana. That is so freaking this cute. This is so effing tight. We have to take a picture. It's amazing. Okay, sorry. Yarn Chick asks, where do you think all the characters would be right now? I don't want to say anything right now about that because who knows? Like, I want to save that for if we possibly do a reboot. And I am praying. I am hoping. I'm hoping, please, God, that it happens. But if it's meant to be, it will. Peace, Love, Des, The Housey Life. There were so many guest appearances and musical performances. Who are your favorites? Brian McKnight. Come on. He was awesome. I loved him. Aaliyah, have you let your kids watch Sister Sister? If so, what was their reaction? They freaking love it. They're obsessed with it. It's insane for me to sit there, watch my children, watch me, because I still think I'm like, it's 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 crazy. I don't I don't feel and think I'm as old as I am. But dang. Let me know if you'd like me to answer more in another episode. I know one biggie is whether we're going to do a Sister Sister reboot. Hmm. Don't forget to subscribe to The Housely Life. Mwah.